Hey everybody, this is uh, Mike with Oregon Sasquatch Encounter here. Um, I was just on this high uh, part of the ravine here and looking through my binoculars, seeing if I could see any of my friends. And I uh, was able to see one through the binoculars sitting in the brush down here. I'll show you. You can see the dark head sticking up. He's sitting sideways to me. I've got my monopod out to try to keep it from moving. I am at full zoom here. He is down the ravine a little ways. But you can see he's sitting in the brush there. You can clearly see his head popping up out of the brush. I'm at full zoom, I can't go any further. Um, he is sitting, he is looking to the right. So you get a side profile here. Looking to the right. Uh, he is about, uh, I say he or she, I'm not sure if it's a he or she. but uh, he is about half cloak and by that I mean you can see him, you can see the dark outline of his head but you can see through him so you can see on what's on the other side of his head but he is obviously standing out so he's about half cloak if he was in full cloak um, there would be no darkness to him. You would just see the distortion. But yeah, he's, he's sitting there, sitting, looking to my right. His head's just popped up there. I can see his nose and his mouth. You gotta understand, once they're in half cloak, their colors don't come out. So, his face kind of looks like everything around him, because he's in half cloak. If he was more in the physical, that's when his colors would start coming out. But right now he's half cloaked sitting there. You can it's amazing because you can I can see his face and his nose, but yet you can see through it. So you can see the brush, the color of the brush coming through it. So it's just it's amazing what these beans can do and what I see. It's starting to rain a little bit here, so I'm going to go ahead and put my camera away so it doesn't get so wet. I hope you all can see this.